the new co-captain, Shelley Scott, and combines with her partner in crime in O'Day. Cunningham in position, A. Eh? Attack the ball hard, but there's Alicia Newman. Watch her go. Bits on the afterburners and slams through the Demons' first goal. Through their hands. Level two, looking inside, 50. While trapped on this occasion by Steph Kane. Lots of confidence. Has she got the finish? She certainly does. And the Dockers are back within a point. She's a long way out though. We'll have about 50 metres to cover. She's going to kick it right towards the top of the goal square. And at the back, superbly read by Ashley Sharp, who can give the Dockers the perfect end of the first quarter. Well, after the Demons kick the first two goals of the quarter, the Dockers have bounced back. And Ashley Sharp makes it three in a row. Just lost her footing at the right time. Docker's still riding this, but Cunningham receives on the outer side. Look at a big tackle from Haley Miller. Kick that goal just on the stroke of quarter time. Sends it up towards half forward again. And it's an open forward line here for Ebony Antoni on the Dockers. The defender come forward, showing she can do it at the other end as well. Bounce will suit Laurie here, Paris Laurie, put on a platter in fact. Antonio in front of Sloan, brought it to ground, both demons went to ground. Antonio already kicked one this quarter, hand pass over the top to Gibson, back to Antonio. Great team football from the Dockers. Sloan very slowly trudges her way off the field. As we mentioned on debut this afternoon is the incident. Ouch. Trying to paddle it in front of herself. Dockers doing well to keep their feet. Houghton's on out the back here. Will she have enough time? She is running out. Mark needed from this kick from Houghton. Antonio at the back. In fact, it is Caulfield who marks at the right time. And the Dockers have an opportunity to make it 20 points at half time. Game being played in Melbourne's Ford half, early stages of this third quarter. One on by Pierce to bring the ball to ground. Mitham with the centering kick. Scott is there, attacked it, crumped it, and kicked the goal as well. Dees definitely needed that one. Hooker tries to get them going out of the middle, but it's immediately turned over and in a dangerous spot. Phillips gets on the end of it. She'll want to get on her right side. We'll get it in board to Zanka, who goes with the banana, and just like that, the Demons are in front. Back inside, 50, Zanka again, crashes the pack, leaves a few in her wake, Cunningham over the top, and Matty Gay is on the board at the D's. They can't be stopped. We'll go right to the goal square, Zanka in position A, thumped away, Newman, what a spin, couldn't quite get the right contact, comes out, Jacobson this time, needs the right bend, and doesn't get it. Well, let's watch this kick in now and let's see what they choose to do. With oh, no, look, well, hang on, no, they did. The goal up by signal of minor score originally. Jacobson was celebrating it's a goal. Bowers involved in everything at the moment. Laurie, Gooch, inside 50, sharp at the back, has her name written on this, and they're right back in this game now, Fremantle. He's just over around the ball. Woodland one on one. Kelly Gibson arches the back inside 50 towards Houghton in front. Look at those hands. Gemma Houghton with a fantastic contested mark. Yeah, obviously, with her being a key forward, we've been able to see her get the front spot here. The Dockers are back in front, and Houghton has two. 13 seconds left. She goes inboard. Mark needs to be taken here, but it will be all the Dockers. Grieve takes the mark. And this new look Dockers outfit under a new coach finally get their first win interstate.